Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a user profile. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, the user profile is a tool of empathy. It got the following characteristics. Allow to understand the user. This means that you have to recollect information before you do the profile. Increase the empathy with the potential user allow you also to know the traits of the user, foment the main principle of design thinking, which is user center of design. This is very important because any development that you are gonna make is center of the need of the user, not of what you think or would you guess about something. As I was telling you, real recollection of information is very important to develop this tool. And if you are very specific with the information, it's better for the development of the profile. It's very important that you settle a purpose when you are going to use this tool. It got the following components. Image, name, age, location, likes, and activities. These are the basic components of a user profile. Sometimes you can be more specific in some, but these are the basics that you need to develop a user profile. So I was, I was telling you the main and first thing that you have to do is to know which user are you gonna map. So when you decide that you have to take a picture or you can make an illustration. Uh, it's very important to make it real. You can use a pictogram, but that tool is not as good as a picture of an illustration because it will allow you to know that you are mapping someone real. So when you know which person are you mapping and you already have their image, you put all the name, the full name. Some people use a nickname so you can also, if you want, you can put that, but it has to have, uh, it has to be real. So that is very important. The idea of this is that you understand that you are designing for someone alive and you understand their needs. After that, you put the age of the person and it has to be the real age because sometimes people don't like to say what age they have but it's very important to have the real one. It's also very important to know the age so you can qualify in which group are they. If you're making the demographic analysis, you will know, okay, so this person has this age, so you can make and understand what are they doing. After that, you go in with the location. The location it has to be very specific. So you go with the country, city, neighborhood and a specific address because the situation can be very different in different places. So it's very important that you understand and be very specific with that description. After that, you go in with the likes. It means the things that people like, the taste that they have. The basic information is what kind of food they like, which social media, uh, they use, if they use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, which, which are their favorite sports. This part has many, many different things of the activities, what do they do in their spare time, all the hobbies that they have. So here you have to be very specific with the information that you put. Then you put the activities, what they do for jobs, are they starting, they are not starting, what other activities are they doing? As you can see, this information, it has to be shown in a very visual way. So you can understand the person, you can increase the empathy and know why they act the way they do. It's very important to know and understand that kind of things. As a result, when you finish your user profile, you will understand the user and their needs. You also know that if you are very specific and detailed of the profile, the information will be better and the understanding 
that you get, it will be way better. It's very important to have a clear insight of what a potential user, user want, need, or culturally understand. This part is very important because it's not the same to make a project in Hong Kong that make it in New York. The cultural background is different and the, in the profile you have to know those differences and show it in the information. Every time that you are making a project, you need to understand that it's center design. So any development that you make is based on the needs of the user. It's not what you think. If you want to uh, understand or be sure about something, remember, you have to have the evidence to support that that is what the user wants. Very important that part. And the cultural background is not the same to make a project in China that make it in France, in Australia, or in Spain. It's different. So here, this is the main tool that you use in the empathy phase, because here you will know the characteristics. So that part is very important as well. Thank you so much. I hope this video helped you a lot with the development of the projects that you are making. Please subscribe to our channel Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Design Thinking 24-7. Every Monday, a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday, a new video in English. Thank you so much. And to all of you, we are the number one channel in Design Thinking in YouTube. Thank you to all of your support. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.